Welcome. There's a rule out there for divisibility by 3. For example, if I look at the number, say, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 0, 3, and ask, I'm asking if that's divisible by 3, people would say, add up the digits and check if the div digits are divisible by 3. Uh, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 is 14, 17, 21, 24. 24 is a multiple of 3. Apparently, that means this guy is divisible by 3. In fact, the same rule actually holds for 9, divisibly by 9. Add up the digits and check if they're divisible by 9. Uh, what did I say? 24. 24 is not divisible by 9. So in this case, this number is not a multiple of 9. So what I'd like to do here is take that rule a little bit further. In fact, 24 leaves a remainder of 6 upon division by 9. I can claim that that rule actually tells me this thing will leave a remainder of 6 upon division by 9. But let's explore why do these rules work. Many people know the rules, they're taught the rules as youngsters, but very few people seem to be able to explain what's the mathematics behind them that makes it clear why they work the way they do. So let's do it. All right, here goes. Our arithmetic system is based on the number 10. Everything is in terms of powers of 10. So we have powers of 1, uh, groups of 1s, groups of 10s, groups of 100s, groups of 1000s, groups of 10,000s, and so on. Let me explore divisibly by 9 first. So let's just go a little bit makes it a little bit easier for ourselves. 9 turns out to be a much friendlier number. If I divide 10 by 9, that leaves a remainder of 1. Uh, 9 is obviously a multiple of 9. 100 is 1 more than 99, which is a multiple of 9. So that's 1 more than a multiple of 9. 1,000 is 1 more than 999. So it leaves a remainder of 1 upon division by 9. 10,000 is 1 more than 9,999. That leaves a remainder of 1 upon division by 9. In fact, the number 1 itself, upon dividing by 9, leaves a remainder of 9. So all the numbers we base our arithmetic on leave a remainder of 1 upon division by 9. So if I take a number like 5,823, I can really think of this as 5 groups of 1,000 plus 8 groups of 100. That is what we mean by our arithmetic system in base 10. 2 groups of 10 and 3 groups of 1. Well, what does 1,000 leave upon division by 9? That leaves a remainder of 1. What does 100 leave upon division by 9? A remainder of 1. 10 leaves a remainder of 1, and clearly 1 leaves a remainder of 1. So if each group of 1,000 leaves a remainder of 1, that means 5,000 would leave a remainder of 5 ones. 5. Plus 800s would leave a remainder of 8 ones. 8. Plus 2 tens would leave a remainder of 2 ones. 2. Plus 3 ones would leave a remainder of 3. So actually, upon division by 9, I shouldn't write equals there, upon division by 9, I have a remainder of 5 ones and 8 ones and 2 ones and 3 ones. That's the same as a remainder of 18 ones. That is, upon division by 9, 5,823 leaves the same remainder as 18 does. Ah, but 18 is a remainder of, is, is a multiple of 9. That leaves a remainder of 0. So actually, I can tell right off the bat that 5,823 is actually divisible by 9 completely. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do one that's probably not as nice because uh, I'm making these things up on the spot, so I was surprised that one actually did work out. 2, 3, 8, 4, 6. All right, that equals 2 lots of 10,000 plus 3 lots of 1,000 plus 8 groups of 100 plus 4 groups of 10 plus 6 groups of 1. Upon division by 9, doo -doo -doo -doo, what do I have? Well, 10,000 leaves a remainder of 1. So 2 lots of 10,000 will leave a remainder of 2 lots of 1, a 1 and a 1. That's 2. Plus 3 lots of 1,000. If each 1,000 leaves a remainder of 1, each group of 1,000 leaves 1, that gives me 3 groups of 1. 3, 8, 4, and 6. So upon division by 9, 23,846 leaves the same remainder as the sum of, of its digits. That is, 23,846 leaves the remainder of, what is this? That's 10, 10 of 23 upon division by 9. Actually, I can apply the same rule. 23 is two groups of 10, and 3 is one group of 1. That leaves the same remainder as 2 plus 3. So actually, I can say this guy is not only not divisible by 9, go a little bit further and say it leaves a remainder of 5 upon division by 9. All because our powers of 10 are very nice with respect to the number 9. In fact, right now, I can replace the 9 with a 3 and see the same is true for divisibility by 3. 10 is 1 more than multiple 3, it's 1 more than 9. 
A hundred is one more than the multiple three, it's one more than 99. A thousand is one more than the multiple three, it's one more than 999, and so on. So actually the same rule holds for divisibly by three. Let's look at 23,846 again. There's one little thing you might not like, so I should just go through it, even though it's kind of clear that all's going to be fine. Let me just delete some things here. Uh, I'm going to write it out again, forgive me for being slow. This is two lots of 10,000 plus three lots of 1,000 plus eight lots of 100 plus four lots of 10 plus six lots of one. Upon division by three, that leaves a remainder of one. So two lots of 10,000, if one lot of 10,000 leaves a remainder of one, the two lots of 10,000 upon division by three will leave two ones, two. Each thousand leaves a remainder of one upon division by three, so three groups of a thousand would leave three ones, which I'm gonna write as three. Most people want me to say that zero, but I'll leave it as three for the moment, I'm still correct. Uh, 100, each hundred leaves a remainder of one, so eight one hundreds will leave a remainder of eight ones, eight which most people would say is two, but that's okay. I'm still correct by saying it's eight ones left over. Uh, four groups of one and six groups of one. So actually upon division by three, 23,846 leaves the same remainder as the sum of its digits, which is, as we said, uh, 23. So 23,846 has the same remainder as 23 upon division by three, which has the same remainder as two plus three, which is five, which I can just say is the same as the remainder of two. So upon division by three, this guy leaves a remainder of two. Fabulous, that's it. That's why divisibility by three works. Add up the digits. If they themselves leave no remainder, that means the original number leaves no remainder. That's why it works. Now for fun for you, this number is interesting. Divisibility by 11. Our powers of 10 are very nice with respect to 11. This is going to be a very curious one. 10 leaves a remainder of 10. But let me say, that same thing as saying a remainder of negative 1. 100, that's 1 more than 99, which is a multiple of 11, so that leaves a remainder of 1. 1,000 is actually 1 less than a multiple of 11. Or if you like to, if you want to be clever, think of 1,000 as 10 times 10 times 10. This leaves a remainder of 1, this leaves a remainder of 1, and a remainder of 1, so actually leaves a remainder of 1 thrice. So it leaves the same thing, remainder is minus 1 cubed, which is negative 1. 10,000 is 10 to the fourth power, leaves a remainder of one, negative one to the fourth, which is one. So surely these, this nice property of 11 with respect to our powers of 10 gives a very nice divisibility rule for 11. Feel free to play with it, see if you can figure it out, or if you want, have a look at the appropriate chapter in this particular book. All right, thanks very much.